packages from Billionaires Boys Club. Yeah, shout out to good people there. Do you know anything about Billionaires Boys Club? Uh, they were at ComplexCon. That's all we know? Um, that's it. Wow, look at this. Enjoy this gift from us. Ooh, shout out to Billionaires Boys Club. Here we go. What do we got here? You like this? Okay, you're going to wear it? Yeah, it's just safe. Yep. <laughs> Wealth, wealth is, is of the mind. No, wealth is of the heart and, and mind, not, not the pocket. pocket. Damn, you remember true, that. true words have never been spoken. You know what before. else they need to say? Always use a lint brush on the hoodie you're currently <laughs> wearing. Okay. This is dope. Little bandana. Little bandana action. Okay. Wear it like Pac. <laughs> Wear it like Pac. Sure. Oh hell! Oh no! Oh okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me zoom into the icon real quick. But there's more. But there's more. Ooh, this is fire. Boys. Look, look at that little patch right here. Okay. We also, I don't know what size these are, but if you got larges available, clearly. Yep. Okay, always make sure you throw in a plug for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good luck, so fire stuff. Yo, is it a uh, certified Yo Flames? Uh, very certified Yo Flames. Yo Flames! Beja, I thought I specifically told you not to wear the same shoes as me on the same day. Again, guys, I get to the office first. It's my Instagram. It's obviously heavily inspired by me. And then he comes with the shoes on. But you beat me. You have two on. I have only one, so. Oh! Okay. Alright, well, um, I'm gonna let her do her own thing because she's been copying my style for the longest. You never in the studio get out. That's usually there. So on my train ride in this morning, I checked Twitter and here are the Grammy nominations. I'm gonna go around and ask some of my coworkers what they think or whom they think should win specific categories. We start on Jay-Z. Okay. Award shows like this, institutional award shows, love a veteran. The album's critically acclaimed. The Grammys are gonna be in New York. And uh, he's getting some kind of, I don't wanna call it a Lifetime Achievement Award, but he's getting some other award. Wow. He's being awarded for something during the show. So there's a lot of factors in his So favorite. all those line up well for Jay-Z. I feel like album of the year is probably going to be between Jay and Kendrick. That's um, what I'm thinking. Kendrick, he's the favorite as far as like new artists go. Grammys also love like a established new artist they can get behind. They have a snub to make up for in terms of giving Taylor album of the year over um, 1989 over to Pimp a Butterfly. Mm. I'm probably leaning more towards Kendrick. Personally, but I do love the J album. Bruno's, Bruno. Bruno's out here. You got Lord. conquering every market. Uh, record of the year. Shit, that's a hard one. I'm personally gunning for Redbone. I think Redbone was a great song, but I wouldn't be surprised if Bruno, Mar if Bruno Mars takes that. Gambino. I mean, his whole—he's got this whole ego narrative thing going right now. Like. The, the train behind him just might be so crazy. He's yeah, but I don't see him winning it, movies. though. Yeah, yeah it might just be the nod. He mm -hmm. might win something more for Redbone. Uh, song of the year? Uh. Yeah, I feel like they always end up giving it to like a pop person. I was going to say, is that going to be Despacito? And then you got Lorde. Lord. Yeah. Who, um, I don't know, Lord made a really great album. But I think people are kind of not sleeping on, but... Everyone forgot that's a really very solid album. It wouldn't be a bad win. I, think, I, just, I don't think it's going to be the Logic Suicide song. No disrespect. A, I think it's a good song. I mean, it's yeah. it's it's good for what it is, but I don't see it beating yeah. anything here. Okay, well, now that you bro broke it down, what does your mind tell you? I mean, everyone's going to be cynical and assume that the Grammys are going to award either the... Favorite who appeals to all ages, Bruno, or the white chick. Damn. That's that's what everyone goes to. I'm riding for SZA for best new artist just because she needs to get all of the awards. I want Khalid to win. Shout out to Khalid. I fucks with location. Uh, best rap song. Bodak Yellow. It's gotta be Bodak. I gotta ride with Cardi B on that one. Just just to encapsulate like her perfect 2017 Man. glow up. Um, best rap album. 
Damn. If they give Kendrick album of the year, I wouldn't be surprised if they give Kendrick rap album, but I wouldn't be surprised if 444 got it. And it would be deserved. Jay did his thing on that. It's crazy because he, he like, it's very recent that he just dropped the album. Yeah, we were, I remember we were talking about yeah. when the uh, the advertising came up, not knowing what the hell was really going on. Yeah. So it's crazy to see that now, end of the year, it's yeah, up there's one of the best. Some people just got it like that, man. Just hit this hole. Show you know up I mean? in the fourth quarter and drop 50 points. I'm like, <laughs> came, back, came back wearing the four or five, man. Yo. All right, Zoe, we're going to switch it up for lunchtime today. Mm. I'm going to have you describe your perfect salad. Mm. Salad. And I'm gonna put B-roll of my lunch, and then we'll see if it lives up to the hype. Okay. All right, go for it. Okay, so I would start with a base of like romaine and kale, um, and then I would include some grilled chicken. You gotta have some crunchy shit in there, so maybe like some sprouts or croutons, and then, I like mushrooms, it's a controversial thing. Some people hate them, so. But I personally like them. And then um, maybe a little bit of jalapeno, Ooh. and then gotta put some cheese on there. Call it Parmesan, okay. and then like um, nice. Caesar dressing. Hmm. Uh, so I don't know, yeah, viewers. Did I did my lunch live up to Zoe's salad hype? L let me know in the comments below. Or you could just get like um, a BLT sandwich. That's what I had today. Okay. But that's not a salad, so it's not an answer to the question. Lunchtime. Believe the hype on lunch. Brendan Dunn, was it in that box? Um, these do not belong to me, but uh, shout out to Joe Lacuma, highly, highly influential individual. Um, Ooh. Sean Paul? No, 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 not Sean Paul. Sean with... Wortherspoon? The Werther. We're gonna have to look up the uh, pronunciation. Okay, a little more context about these uh, shoes. What's the inspiration? This is from the Air Max Day 2017 Vote Forward pack, okay. um, where designers submitted silhouettes, and then the community was allowed to pick which one they wanted to actually see so produced. So did Sean design that, and he submitted yes. it? Yes, I believe so. And Sean is also the founder of Round Two, or yes, big time reseller. Okay, wow, that's crazy. And now he has a, his own collaboration. What a world we live in. Alejandro, you're on the clock. Give me five second life advice to close out the vlog. Go. Five, four, three, two, one. No, don't, don't regret anything, man. Live life like you're, uh, you're stumbling, man. You're not promised tomorrow, man. Yeah. All right, I don't know what you said, but thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next episode. Hit it with the deuces. You gotta say it. Hit it with the deuces. Damn it, doses! Yeah.